Yeah. I'm uh, Dave Lavender, and uh, I write a features for the Herald Dispatch in Huntington, and also do a uh, weekend piece called Your Weekend Ahead on WSAZ. And I'm a true tri stater. I was born and raised in southern Ohio in Franklin Furnace, uh, still one of the only places that I know that you exit on the left. And then I went to school at the University of Kentucky, and uh, after I got my journalism degree, I came uh, back into the area and worked in uh, Chilla Coffee, then also worked in Parkersburg for a little while and then we moved to outside Nashville for three years. And one of the things I said, I told my wife Terrell was, when we come back, I want to treat it like a tourist. Just meaning that when I come back, I really want to totally go and investigate the tri-state and uh, go to as many places as I can and find all those treasures and all those places that we went to growing up. Places like Lake Hope um, in Zaleski, Ohio, and you know, places like Carter Caves. I go Dreamland Pool, go back and go to all these places of my youth, but then really also explore more out in the region. It took a little while to convince the editors there at the paper that they should turn me loose on the, on the tri-state, and finally they did, and we uh, came up with a thing called Dave Trippin', and we would kind of load up the load up the station wagon like Chevy Chase and vacation and, and take the kids and, and go out and explore somewhere for a weekend. Being who we are, my wife and I um, really love the Appalachian spirit that is quite unique in that we, you know, we haven't become totally homogenized in Appalachia. You know, we still have that unique spirit and there's a lot of mom and pop things and we're still not exactly like the rest of the country. We have our unique places, our mystery holes, you know, our blue smoke sauces, you know, our different places, our candom parks, our places that are uniquely us and are defined by the unique individuals that run them. So uh, in our stories and in our adventures, we always try to find out these places that really make a place special and that really uh, make our area different from somewhere else and not just another uh, McDonald's down the road. There's been a way out in West Virginia written by Jeannie Mosher uh, who lives over in the Panhandle and um, she did a wonderful book that had a lot of blurbs about great places to go in West Virginia. But no one had ever uh, taken into fact our unique geography and written a kind of way out in Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. So our idea was to take the best dozen trips from each state, and uh, these would be weekend long trips, and to really expound on those and give people a lot of great nuggets about places to go and things to do and places to stay. So we put together this book and uh, it was a real chore. It's about 300 pages of things to do and places to go. And like I said, about a dozen trips uh, in each state. And we didn't go any further than about four hours away from uh, Huntington. Well, at the end of each chapter, we gave people uh, kind of a detailed list, an if you go page of uh, uh, places to go, numbers to call, and ways that they could plug in and, and do a vacation uh, similar, a weekend vacation like we did. And then also on the uh, opposite page, we kind of topped it off with a page that describes other related places. I'll give you for instance, like we went to Cumberland Falls, which is uh, one of the largest waterfalls in the, in the southeast, and uh, the only place in the western hemisphere that has a moonbow. And it's located in uh, south central Kentucky, and so at the end of that trip, we had a page that had other great waterfalls to go check out in the region. Uh, another interesting thing, uh, one chapter, is on geocaching. Now that's uh, using a GPS unit uh, to go out and find treasure that's hidden out in the woods. And we found all over the tri-state region that it's taken us to these incredible places that we didn't know were there. Geocaching is a new sport and a new hobby that uh, is really blowing up. There's about 700 geocaches around Huntington alone and they always take you to a neat place and it's usually a public place uh, like cemeteries and also uh, wildlife management areas and they really take you to some uh, I would say get you off the beaten path and really help you explore. So we uh, thought that was a fun thing to share and I think we're one of the first books uh, in the states to mention geocaching. It's been in a lot of magazines and of course has a website but uh, we're one of the first books to mention it so we're pretty happy about that. To us, to Terrell and I, has been the best part of doing this book that we have been able to impact people's lives and be more local boars and more look more what's around them and, and appreciate what is around them right here in Huntington, um, right in Canova, right in Cerrito, and right across the rivers. And so hopefully we've gotten a little cross-pollination 
with people from Ohio and Southern Ohio finding out more about West Virginia, and people in West Virginia finding out more about Kentucky, and people in Kentucky finding out more about Ohio and West Virginia. So hopefully everybody's becoming a little more um, like me, a true tri-stater who sees the territorial lines but knows that in Appalachia we're all in it together.